Welcome Capricorn Aquarius to your mid-month reading for February. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Best message coming out. And for those of you, my friends, I have put the meditation in your playlist. Um, I know I said I was going to do it during the summertime sometime, and I finally got it done. So... For those of you interested in the meditation, I did do a three-hour one, so that way you have plenty of time to use it as needed. Sleep, relaxation, meditation, however. Okay. Okay, let's get in this. Let's see what's going on with you. Best message. The key feeling or the energy surrounding you is the chariot. Wow. Your chariot is coming in, talking about moving in different directions. Love it. It's a healthy direction. That's why I love it. Getting back on track. Feeling like your chariot is coming in. Having your blessings come in. Maybe even deciding of what you need to do next. Giving and receiving. So it was almost like, hey, I knocked on the door and here comes what I wanted. You gave the knock and the knock has returned. So it's definitely some kind of manifestation coming through, my friends, no matter how you want to see it. You are giving and receiving it back, whether it's through a love situation or whatever you're manifesting, right? A job, embrace it. Open your arms to embrace it. Seeking time to just kind of meditate and just relax over here. Really meditating upon the situation. Um, it does feel like with the rebuild over here, though, in the recent past, it, you just pretty much ghosted the person. You didn't really let them go and let the tower fall. It just feels like you, you're ghosting. Um, so you could feel like, okay, I'm ghosting you. That's fine. Um, you know, I'm done. So not really wanting to put any more attention into that. So let's go there first. Yep, totally ghosting hermit upside down. You are 100% ghosting them. You said, I don't want to deal with getting rid of you. I don't want to give to you. You don't want to give to me. I give to you. You don't give back. Um, and so now I'm not going to even pay attention to you. So you did ghost this person. Um, or unless you want to say they ghosted you. Maybe you wanted them to, um, you know, how is this going to be? You didn't let me go. Something like that. So whether or not you ghosted them or they ghosted you, it doesn't matter. Um, but it does say that even though we're going to say you ghosted them, they're still watching you. Could be a Gemini or a Libra is still watching you. Could even be a Virgo. Um, doesn't have to be. But it does feel like they're still trying to figure out where did you go. Um, and they're trying to watch you on social media, do these things, because they're trying to figure out what happened to you. Um, definitely with the Seven of Cups, they have a lot of decisions, a lot of things going on within their mind about how this went down. Also could be dealing with the Scorpio. Um, but however it is, they're trying to figure out things um, within their own mind as they're having a little confusion of what, where did you go? Um, but this just opens more doorways for you to get to where you need to be with the chariot coming through because you're more worried about where you need to be. Okay, so embracing the situation is the strength. You see this person as weak and you're not going to deal with their weakness anymore. So you're actually embracing the situation and keeping yourself at peace away from this, what I'm going to call a Libra. Um, you are definitely traveling in new areas. You could even have this beautiful um, fire sign coming in, which makes you feel more successful. However it is, you're definitely traveling towards happier places and more peace of mind. Knowing that this person has some insecurities about them, you're not going to worry about this. Also could be dealing with a Scorpio. Remember, friends, any signs I throw out does not have to be your sign. It's just the signs that I'm picking up at this time um, that Spirit is bringing through. Um, but you do realize that they are toxic. Okay, there is a toxic energy going around them. And they keep themselves in this toxic energy in which they like to give back to you. Okay, so you are finding the balance within this situation and also knowing the truth about the situation in which, yeah, and really meditating the situation as well. So this is almost like the more you meditate on the situation, you know it's not going to work. Um, looking for better directions for yourself, um, right? So seeking over here, putting yourself in that meditative place, not going backwards. It feels like this person, this Libra, or this other Gemini, it could be a Virgo, um, could be coming back in, 
I'm going to say a, a Libra. I have Libra three times. So four times, my goodness, with the Justice card. So four times, I'm going to say Libra. Um, with the Ace of Wands upside down, yes, you're not taking a reconciliation. They do want to come back in the near future. And they're saying, and you're saying, no, I'm comfortable, I'm calm. You are going to have a conversation about how comfortable and calm you are. Um, and how you're not going to allow them into your energy anymore. And you've found the balance. Um, telling them that you're not really in love with them anymore. This is an unrequited love. I have lost the passion in the relationship. I do not see you as number one anymore. I'm sorry. Um, we are done. Um, yeah, we're definitely done. Um, they do feel like they're a little impatient, a little worried, and a little conflicting with you. And they want to cause a little conflict. And they are trying their hardest to move towards you in the near future. Um, but you're not going to get in your head. They're very depressed about the situation, but you are underdetermined. They're depressed because they see you being underdetermined to want to take them back. So yeah, definitely don't see that path at all. You are closing the path down. They know it. You've had the conversation in the near future. I don't understand what is going on. Why are you not taking me back? Very hurtful. Um, but you have to let them know, right? I'm not taking you back. I don't see any success within this relationship. So, therefore, you do have a great coming ups over here for better things coming your way. Um, and it also could be another person coming at you as well. This fire sign, as I said before, could be a Sagittarius. I do see success coming your way. Yes, big happy changes because it's just going to be different because the cycle is changing as the chariot is coming through. Very beautiful, my friends. Very, very beautiful. So, let's just see what this person has to this feeling about you and what they really want from you. Like, what do you really want from me? If you don't want to give in, you know, if you don't want to give back to me, but want to take everything I have, what do you want from me? They're very codependent upon you. You probably figured that out. I That went straight over there. You feel there's a little deceptive energy going on. That's just because they're saying, but I will give to you. And you're saying, no, you didn't. You're wearing a false mask. Um, you did not. They want a reconciliation with you. All of these are coming into the near future. Um, you're saying, I do not trust you. I do not see that. You are calling in a soulmate. A guy see that with the fire sign. Um, and in the near future, you this could be the one. And it will be safe for you to love when that time comes. So when this fire sign, if you guys haven't had the fire sign come just yet, um, when that time comes... You will know, right? Because your your heart's going to also be more healthy and you're going to feel like, whoa, right? You're going to know. Okay, but it will happen very soon if it already hasn't happened. Okay, and for some of you, this person might even have children that's coming towards you. Okay, I just want you to know that. Okay, and if it's not, there could be some, maybe you have children that will be, be very good with the children. Okay, so somehow or another, there could be children involved. Okay. Okay, my friends, until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.